Hi everyone, welcome back and thanks for tuning in. I hope you're all well. Today's video is just going to be a quick comparison between these two um, months of Gabriel back in the bag. So I've got the mini and the regular size and I'm just going to talk about both of them and um, just give an idea of what the sizes look like in real life because I know they don't have shops where you can just walk in and try them on so and I find it really difficult trying to pick a size and I'm still finding it difficult um, trying to decide which one to keep so I know that can be a bit of a headache so I thought before I sell one or get rid of one I'll do a quick video just for reference for anybody who might be looking into getting one but not so sure about the size and how much you can fit in here and what's not so yeah let's get to it so the first one I got is the um, the Camella Rosa in in the mini size and then I got the um, the black the regular black flammer in the regular size so um, just to mention I didn't get either from the relaunch I got these before the relaunch I got these from separate um, stockists I got the Rosa um, the Camella from Envoy of Belfast I'm just gonna link all the links down below I thought it was going to be really really small but actually for the sake of this video I've actually filled it up so I've got all the, the things that I usually carry with me and I'm going to show you but just to give you an idea of even though it's small the size is small it can still hold my essential items or things that I carry with me on a, on a daily basis when I'm running errands and you know out and about and it's, there's still quite a bit of room in there I put my hand and literally can swivel around so that's how that's how much you can fit in there and again this is great size and especially for me because I've got really dodgy shoulders and I can't carry anything heavy because so I'm going to show you what I've got in here so um, just to give an idea but yeah, I've got my iPad and then I've got my um, it's like my cosmetic case my phone purse and keys so I'm just going to show you oh I just dropped my phone so here, you can see, don't worry it didn't break in case you're wondering, <laughs> right here goes and just pull it tight, so with the iPad in there you can't fully close it because it, it literally sits right here so it can't fully close so I think you might need a little scarf with it if you're worried about people having easy um, access and reaching into your bag but let's I'm um, just going to show you how it closes without the iPad in there or anything larger let's put that there so this is it fully closed and even though I know there's a little gap here but it's going to be very difficult and you would definitely know or feel it if somebody's trying to literally reach into your bag so this is it with everything or my basically my essentials in there and like I said there's still much room there's still um, room in there so this is a you know a good size bag if you're not into big bags or like coming toes or running now on to the um, regular bucket um, the regular size so again like I said it's very roomy and I think I'll pick I got this one from Netra Porsche they're really really helpful this one was actually from from US and a friend of mine was on holiday so basically when Netta Porter called, emailed me to say they've got one for me but it's in America I thought okay I don't know how I'm going to get hold of this because again the shipping was just going to be crazy but I spoke to my friend and she was happy to help so all I had to do was just send this to her hotel and she just brought it with me so yes it did work out a little bit cheaper than what I would have bought it here in London but yeah again um, I'm going to show you I'm going to put all the essentials that I carry with me in here just to give you a feel or an idea of how everything how the bag looks when it's filled so in goes the iPad the makeup case I'm officially the bag lady 
Yes, this, this is how it looks, fully closed. Again, not much of a gap in here that you can re you can easily reach. So again, this is quite secure if you know, you're not gonna carry too much in here. And what I didn't mention with the Rosa, Carmela Rosa, is even though it's, it's quite, even though it's small and when it's fully packed, it's still quite light, even with this, you could just tell it's not too heavy and I think the first time I used it I used it I went out to shoot some pictures for the blog and I had my DSLR camera in here and it wasn't I wasn't like oh my god this is weighing me down because usually when I go to shoot I have like another bag for my equip camera equipment but on that day all I had was just this and everything else that I needed with me when I'm out and about so again this size is great you know for carrying literally your whole world in there with you and still it doesn't look too bulky unless obviously you're going to have really large objects in here then yes it's going to stick out but other than that it can still um, maintain its shape very well I'm about five foot five so I'm just going to show you how it sits um, it looks on my type of body frame here's how the mini looks on me because of the small size, I can choose to wear the bag um, in the front without making it look too bulky. And the strap is long enough so you can also wear it as cross bodied as well and it sits nicely on the hips. I like how I can also easily um, just rest my arm on top of the bag to keep things secure and even keep it close to my body. So here is how the regular size looks on my body frame. I put it on the last three holes of the strap so I can easily wear it um, as cross body as well. I also like how I can easily rest my arm um, on top of the bag as it just sits on the hip so I can secure the contents of my bag safely. The only thing I don't like about the Mini is the fact that it's the price between the Mini and the regular. Yeah. I think it's about 50 or 40 pounds difference. For that price, with the, um, sorry. Right, so for, the, for the 50 or 40 pounds difference, not only do you get a roomy or a larger size bag, but you also get the pouch, which, which I think is quite handy. And I've, I've used this, and it's quite great for, again, you know, days that if we do, all I need is just a bit of um, just my wallet, just my purse, lip gloss and keys. This is great, you know, for, especially for quick shop runs, last minute things. It's, it's, so yeah, for this, I feel like I'm definitely getting my money's worth. But with the, with the mini, not so the mini not so much so but that that is just a personal thing you know that is just a person that's just me but other than that like I said I really really like this bag any struggle I'm having is not necessarily the size is more of the color which one to stay with but um if it wasn't to do with color definitely I think the regular size will be worth my money but then again the mini is also good to it's also a good piece to have, you know, to have a, to have, like the size is, is not too big, not definitely not too small either. So, you know, yeah, which is which, I don't know. Okay guys, so um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found this um, somehow helpful if you are, you know, if you're having a bit of a difficult decision trying to decide what size bag to get. So um, yeah, if you have any other requests or any other questions or anything that you'd like me to cover in detail regarding these bags, then by all means let me know in the comment box below. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope to do a What's in My Bag video next. So yeah, pop back soon and thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the bank holiday. Bye.